Assalamu alaikum guys. Today we are going to start our next topic on identification of anions. So in the first part we will identify the identification of halide ions. So there will be a trick to memorize there is this identification of anions. So let's begin this lesson. You will not identify the halide ions but also you will find a trick to memorize these ions. So in the end of the lesson I will share that trick with you people how to memorize this easily. So let's begin this lesson. Identification of halide ions. What basically halide ions? Seventh group elements in the periodic table are called as halogens. So basically the ions of halogens are called as halide ions. Chloride ions, bromide ions and iodide ions. So in order to identify these ions, we will do a small test in the laboratory to identify these ions. First of all, what we will add in this solution? This is a salt solution, unknown salt solution. We don't know. Either this salt solution of chloride ion, bromide ion or iodide ion. Salt solution means here can be a salt solution of sodium chloride. For example, if there is a sodium chloride, salt solution of sodium chloride, or it may be the salt solution of sodium bromide. It may be a salt solution of iodide ions. So salt solution means there is a salt which contains a halide ions or chloride ions in it. If we will talk about that the chloride ions are present. So what results we will observe and if the chloride ions are not present, what results we will get. First of all, to an unknown solution, we will add dilute nitric acid followed by dilute nitric acid and followed by aqueous silver nitrate. Why we will use this aqueous silver nitrate solution? Because this silver nitrate ions in aqueous form will have silver ion, will have a silver ion in it. If we will talk about the silver ion, presence of this silver ion in this silver nitrate solution, silver ion is present. So this silver ion can be attached with the chloride ion to form silver chloride or with the bromide ion to form silver bromide or with the iodide ions to form silver iodide. So when it will react with it, it will form silver chloride, silver bromide and silver iodide. But the point is this, that why we use this because all the halide, silver halide ions are insoluble and form precipitates and give us the identification or specific identification. Now in the test we will add dilute nitric acid in it and then we will add aqueous silver nitrate in it. When we will add both of these things in it a change will be seen an observation will be take place if the observation in the observation we will get white precipitate if the observation is with white precipitate then what result we can be conclude white precipitate if in the observation white precipitates are formed or cream precipitates are formed cream colored precipitates are formed or yellow precipitates are formed then we can identify that which ions are present in this test tube either chloride or bromide or iodide 
So we have added dilute nitric acid and aqueous silver nitrate in this soil solution. So if the white precipitates are formed, then we will say that this solution contains chloride ions. And if we will get cream precipitate, we will see bromide ions. And if we will say that yellow precipitates are formed, then iodide ions. Iodide ions are present. So, these are the observations through which we can conclude that white precipitates are formed and we will say that chloride ions are confirmed. Cream precipitates are formed, we will say bromide ions are confirmed. If yellow precipitates are formed, then we will say iodide ions are confirmed. So, what chemically the color of white precipitates are of silver chloride? Cream precipitate are of the precipitate. What precipitates are here is of silver chloride, AgCl. And if we will talk about the cream precipitate, AgBr, because the silver halides are insoluble, so we use silver nitrate. And then again, silver iodide will be formed yellow precipitate. So, these were the test of halide ions. If we can get more understanding, then we will say, can you fill up this table? Complete this table. If you want to complete this table, so it's very necessary to pause this video for a while and try to complete this table. And then check the results by playing further video. So in the first step, what will you do? We have three different salt solutions. Number one, U, unknown salt solution. V, unknown salt solution. W, unknown salt solutions. So which test we will do to identify these three ions? If conclusion is made, chloride ions are confirmed, so then what test will we write? We write, same reagents will be used in three steps. Number one, dilute, we will add few drops of dilute nitric acid. We will add aqueous silver nitrate and if white precipitates are formed white precipitates of white precipitates are formed then we will say that the chloride ions this V solution contains chloride ions. Why? Because white precipitates are formed by the adding addition of dilute nitric acid and silver nitrate. And for the bromide ions, which test we will use? Again, we will have same reagents, dilute nitric acid and aqueous silver nitrate. Yes, you got it boys and girls aqua silver nitrate will be formed the observation in this we will get cream precipitate cream precipitate and if we will have iodide ions in the unknown solution u so then we will write the test that will be the same reagents, dilute nitric acid and aqua silver nitrate solution. So by adding, we will add few drops of dilute nitric acid and aqua silver nitrate in all the test observations will be different. For the iodide ions, we will have yellow precipitates yellow precipitates for iodide ions. 
So it's very simple to write the ionic equation for any uh, insoluble solid. If any precipitate, solid precipitates are formed, then we will have the ionic equations. So now we will write the ionic equation for the chloride ions, silver ion from the salt solution, from the uh, addition of this reagent, silver ion from there, and chloride ions from the salt solution. Chloride ions from the salt solution will react together to form silver chloride. It will form silver chloride. And this silver chloride is of white precipitate. Again, we will move. If we are going to have cream precipitate, then again silver ions from the reagent that is aqueous silver nitrate and bromide ions from the salt solution bromide ions from the salt solution will form silver bromide and that silver bromide is of cream colored precipitate this solid shows that it is a precipitate and ions are in aqueous state. These are the aqueous. Here silver ions are in aqueous state. Bromide ions are in aqueous state. So next in the last ionic equation we will write the silver ion aqueous plus chloride ion aqueous will form a solid that is called as silver chloride. It will be silver chloride. Okay. So this is the table through which you will memorize how to write the test and how to write the observations. But a thing, a trick is left behind to memorize these ions, the colors of ions. So how we will memorize these colors of ions? Let's watch this thing. The way to memorize the colors. We have to memorize the colors of bromide ions, chloride ions, and iodide ions. So we will make a sentence that white kernel, white kernel, we will take from the kernel CR, white kernel BR, bring white color, white kernel bring cream creamy white kernel bring creamy yellow ice cream so memorize this trick the colors like this white kernel the color i dye white white kernel bring creamy yellow ice cream so white kernel bring creamy yellow ice cream. So this is a trick through which you can memorize these ions easily. So I hope so that you have learned these ions very well. And look at all of these observations and record in your mind. And again we will see that we have completed our objective of the day. I hope so that in this lesson you have learnt very well the identification of halide ions. If you like this video and learn even a single word so don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so don't forget to hit it. So hit it and stay blessed, stay tuned. Signing off Miss Aisha Manzoor.